Kate here and we're back to celebrate the best in Aussie entertainment at the 5th Annual Rolling Stone Awards. Now it's going to be a massive one with plenty of free-flowing Patron and awards to go around. So what are we waiting for? Let's go party. I came last year and Tex Perkins was hosting. I got righteously intoxicated and I told Matt Coit, who's the editor of Rolling Stone, that I'll oh, let me host and then he rang me. Now your name was actually down last year to attend, but we didn't get a chance to interview you. What happened? Oh, I, I snuck through and then I left. No, I, yeah, it was one of those things that everyone puts an event on the same night. So tonight I'm all yours. Yeah, all the events. I'm all the events. <laughs> it's just for the event, yeah. Tonight. To get really boozed. That's what I have, Patron. Uh, right there. Lots of Patron. Come to have a bit of fun. Hopefully there'll be some dancing, you know. What's it like to be a part of something that does get that kind of recognition? We're very touched that people took time to watch the film and to acknowledge it on so many levels. Ladies and gentlemen, the 5th Annual Rolling Stone Awards, Single of the Year, Reader's Choice, sponsored by Patron, goes to The Jezebel's The End. Thank you Rolling Stone for putting this on. And thank you to all the other artists. It is very humbling because it's a fucking great year of music. I have played guitar, drums, flute, clarinet, oboe, and I've sucked at every single one of those. That's why I DJ. Are you excited to be here? Yeah, it's loud, which I like, so yeah, it's going to be fun. We're actually, we're about to go on tour with Wolfmother. I'll see you over at the Patron table, yes? 